yo, yo, what's up, friends and family O-Icon? How are you guys? So, those of you that don't know, I guess I'm getting old. My knee finally quit on me. So I just had uh, knee replacement surgery. It's probably not a good idea for me to be driving, given the painkillers and the fact that my right leg basically does not respond to my brain quite yet. So figure you guys are probably bored of seeing me and hearing me talk all by myself. So I brought the key member of the ICON team along with me today. So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Master Menfield Orozco. Lo siento, amigo. <laughs> Menfield has been working with us at ICON for 11 years. For a long time, he was running the FJ department. And then eventually we had some turmoil in the BR department and a lot of growth. So one of the guys that trained under him took over in FJ and we complicated Ben Phil's life and brought him over to Bronco and he's now the leader of the Bronco team. Why do you work with us, Ben? I'm sorry, why? Why? I mean, it's just the... Uh, there better jobs? Could you do better than me? No. Nah, it's... Uh, <laughs> No doubt about the company. I grew up a lot on this company. Something that I never imagined doing. And it's just an exciting day, every day for me to come over and see different things, different experience, and you know, see customers getting excited about yeah. their, their trucks. And I think that's that's the thing that kind of fulfills me to, to do this every day. And not only that, seeing your passion, you know, just helping helping you to to fulfill your dream. Well, bless you, sir. And I think uh, you nailed it. The customers' reactions and the communications we get, all the adventures and photos and stories they come back and tell us. I also get a really big kick bringing what looks like the end of its possible usable life vehicle into the shop. And then our team being responsible for the rebirth from start to finish to that first test drive when it's fresh again. And yeah, sometimes we come back to the shop in tow trucks, sometimes we don't, but it's it's a rare opportunity and uh, we're honored to have had you with us all these years, my brother. Thank you for having it's me too much, this much video. appreciated, well, of course. So this is specifically the 87th Icon BR. It is a 11 of 1972. We built it in the old school design package and the cosmetics are kind of cool. Then Phil and I were debating it. Like as it was coming together, we were like, I don't know. It's a little bright. Like normally I'm into like darker, moodier colors, but the whole team agreed as it came together. It's just fun. Like it makes you smile. It's got a, yes. it's got a good sense of humor. So this vibrant blue, and basically it was kind of a Le Mans inspired motif. So we got this super cool Le Mans textile pattern and this cool blue leather that was designed to match it. The leather and the textile in the case of this truck came from our buddy Josh at Relicate. They have really good high end and really different materials for major restoration, quality interior work and uh, been a great resource for us over the years. All the way down to the thread, we can get the best threads matched specifically to the materials that we select. I guess since I started blabbing about the interior, we'll continue on that theme. We did our beloved Hargarten square weave carpet, which is backed with the rubber, insulated with Dynamat and all removable. We did a soft top only on this truck, no hard top. That's our usual seven ply insulated soft top, but this one's unique in that it is in the light gray finish instead of the more commonly seen black. Um, what else on the inside? We've got the tuck and tumble rear seat, which the client had us modify specially. So it has a lock bin that holds it in the tumble forward position. We also did a removable mat for his dog when that seat is folded up. Of course, we have the typical old school door panels. So you've got the LED underlit uh, spears and then the leather wrapped hand stitched 
armrest and then the textile on the leather. We've got the power windows with old school analog crank. We've got the power door locks. We have the icon center console, the embossed lizard, same leather on the lid. Of course, the console, by the way, is back in stock on the website. They always sell out as quickly as we can make another batch, um, but I think we have about 40 of them in stock right now, so if you've been waiting for one, grab it. There's stainless steel, powder-coated, gas shock, interior and exterior LED lighting, fast charge, USB, blah, 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 audio, its own little secret compartment lid. What else is going on on the interior? Being old school, of course, it's got the gray powder coat thematic through all the trim, and in this case, the roll bar. This client had us leather wrap the steering wheel, had us do the steering column on this one in the blue. Of course, the usual old school gauges and dash layout, lights, whitewash, fan vent, and temperature, and the old school stolen from the Mustang GT vintage style steering wheel. Mechanically, here I'm a horse. I haven't talked this much in three weeks of recovery. You wax poetic about the mechanical, and I'll jump in if I have to. Uh, what do we got? Other, so we have a uh, box coil lowers, adjustable. Uh, also, we have the, of course, the Coyote 5.0 engine, aluminum block, the uh, Curry axles. Dana base. Dana base. Dana 44 high rock. High pinion in the front, 60 in the rear. Uh, the transmission is an automatic transmission, four. Uh, with, with overdrive. With overdrive. What brakes we got? Uh, Brembo brakes. Yeah, baby. The six. Icon proprietary six piston front, four piston rear sport brakes. And uh, those are hydro boost assisted. We have the ARB locking diffs in the center of those powder coated axle assemblies. I bought coils, no leaf springs anywhere, tunable sway bars. We've got the reverse light on this one, right? Yes. And we did the chrome bumper package. We did the optional Icon old school rear tire carrier. Um, for audio, we did the higher end we call elevated audio with the Pioneer NEX 8000 and something. I can't keep up to constantly change it. What is this? You remember 87? Uh, this is an 86. 8600. Yeah. So that's a tetherless CarPlay Bluetooth reverse cam FM uh, HD AM CD everything you're going to need. The Focal uh, with remotes in the front, Focal in the rear, the hidden base that's built underneath the driver's seat, the amps hiding underneath the passenger seat. All right, well, there you go. I'll shut up. And uh, then Phil and I both will thank you guys for all your support. If you have any questions, you can reach out old school, telephone 818-280-3333. Of course, super old school website is icon4x4.com and of course on Instagram and Facebook you can always find us again at simply icon4x4. Please be kind to the planet, your friends, even your enemies, give them some leeway and most importantly be good to yourself. We'll see you guys on the next video. Be well.